Hello there, it's your old pal Carl Welshman. I am your old pal, you know, I like you. Me and you, we go back years and years and years. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about Twining Spiced Ginger Tea. Sealed for freshness, that's good to know. Already got hot water and a bag in my cup. Flop and ack. Flop, flop and ack. Smells, smells gingery. A little spicy. Some people leave the bag in, but for me that's just madness because what happens is as you're drinking, the tea bag keeps touching your lip and I've already got enough things touching my lips. All these hairs here. I don't need a, a hot, a hot bag touching my lips. But maybe you're that way inclined. And you just can't get enough bag on those lips. Get out of here, twat. Twinings. The warming soft light from a candle glows through the lanterns as they float up and away, bringing specks of brightness to the dark sky. What does it taste like? <laughs> Ginger is one of the world's most loved ingredients used across continents to add zing to salads. Ginger in salads? What fucking salad has ginger in? Have you ever had ginger in a salad? I bet if, if you're nodding your head, you're the only person in the entire universe that has ginger in their salad. And you're also absolutely crazy. Nobody puts ginger in their salad. <sighs> anyway, add zing to salad. Spice up stir fries. Now that makes sense, all right? A little bit of ginger in stir fry. Magnifique. This infusion is warming, slightly peppery. Ooh, it's cheeky. Ooh, a little slightly peppery. And as that lovely spice you'd expect. How do I drink it? Use one bag per person, pour on boiling water. We've already done that. Infuse for two to three minutes. Leave for a little longer if you prefer a stronger taste. Yeah, see, and then it, it doesn't actually say take the bag out. So eh, I'm assuming that's the missing step there. Anyway, let's give it a little mix around. And we'll talk about it. I could bring you up to have a little peep in the mug there. Looks like a steaming cup of urine, but it certainly doesn't smell like it. Maybe if you've eaten a lot of ginger, that's what your urine will smell like, but uh, mine doesn't. Mine smells like, um, what's it called? Sugar puffs, usually. Yeah, gingery, nice. Again, would make an absolutely beautiful scented candle, that aroma. Let's go in for the taste. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be careful. I'm not gonna take a massive gulp, otherwise I'll burn these bloody lips off. Hmm. Okay, you're getting a little bit of heat at the back. You know, they're right about that uh, cheeky pepper that they were talking about. That slightly peppery feeling that you get. It's like it's like peppery. Warming slightly, slightly peppery. We'll just go with that. There is, there is a pepperiness in there. Hmm. Ah. Watery, watery, just like all of these teas tend to be very watery. Um. I mean, the bag was left in there for ages. So look at the ingredients here: licorice root, cinnamon, and cloves. Do you know what? I, I, I get that. I don't get much licorice root, but get a bit of cinnamon in there. Do get a bit of cinnamon. Hmm. Ginger, cinnamon. It's all right, actually. That's all right. It's, it's, the more I'm drinking it, the more it's growing on me. It's supposed to be good for digestion, which is good because I fart a lot. My stomach goes bloody crazy and the amount of times I fucking fart throughout the day is disgusting. So a bit of ginger tea helps settle that stomach. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I don't know what this story is at the start, mind, you know, about bloody 
lanterns floating up. I don't know whether this is like just a sort of subtle attempt at acclimatising us, getting us ready for when the UFO invasion inevitably happens. A little bug thing just landed here. What are you doing, you little bug thing? Anyway, very weird. Just as I mentioned about the UFO invasion, a strange bug lands on the uh, kitchen top next to me. It's probably an alien's. I can hope not. I don't want to be abducted again. Yeah, yeah that's nice. All right, let's, let's just cut to the chase here. No more jibber-jabbering, Carl. You're talking a lot of shite here. People are watching the video because they want to know what you think of this Twinings spiced ginger, all natural ingredients sealed for freshness. Tea is like, it's nice. It's a tasty tea. I'm actually going to give it a 7 out of 10. Absolutely perfect for, just like they say on the back there, sitting in your back garden with a nice towel wrapped around you or a blanket or some sort of cloth just to keep the chill off you as the UFOs gently come in and either destroy everything or just abduct everyone. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Fucking bug.